Hello, my name is David Trimberger, and this is my second attempt at my peer-to-peer -peer for pleural decompression. First thing that I want to do is gather up all my materials, such as PPE, an antiseptic solution, a 14 to 16, 2 inch over the needle uh, catheter. Um, and I also want to make sure that I have a 4x4 with tape around it to help stabilize my needle later. Um, so if I'm ventilating or bagging my patient and I begin to notice hemodynamic compromise, vitals are starting to become even more unstable, um, I go over and I auscultate over the lungs and I hear no breath sounds on one side, I could begin to start um, taking note that my patient could be having a tension pneumothorax. So I would want to begin and start preparing for a needle decompression. So the first thing that I want to do is put on proper PPE. find my second or third intercostal space. So I found the second intercostal space. I go over, I also find the midclavicular line, and then I kind of match that up, find a little bit of a target area. Once I find that area, I'm going to take my antiseptic solution, clean, clean, clean. Then I'm going to take my over-the-needle catheter, and then I'm going to go one, two, three, stick. And then I'm going to make sure that I listen and wait to hear that rush of air that will allow, allow me to know that I have uh, entered the pleural, pleural space and my syringe could possibly also be beginning to move upward. And that would also um, let me know that air is beginning to move in. Once I see that, I will go ahead and remove the needle and the syringe and just leave the catheter. And I will put those in the sharps container come over and stabilize my needle and then I will continue I will go ahead and reassess ventilation also check to make sure that pulse and blood pressure are beginning to uh, normalize and evaluate capnography and spo2 and monitor my patient for any changes in patient condition um, while I'm en route to the hospital thank you